And another big story we're following tonight, the University of California and the Cal State University systems plan to require students returning to the school this fall to be vaccinated for COVID-19. And Stanford University also making the vaccine mandatory. Cron 4's Dan Kerman live for us now in San Francisco at San Francisco State University with more on this very bold plan. Universities all across the country are starting now to want to do this. That's right. You know, we've heard this in terms of how do you get into a venue? How do you get into a sporting event? And we keep hearing the talk about you have to be vaccinated or you have to show a, a test showing that you are negative for COVID-19. Well, now universities are getting the word out to parents and students early on that come this fall, depending on where they go, they might be required to be vaccinated for COVID-19. This is what a typical afternoon looked like at Stanford pre-COVID-19. With students set to return in the fall, the university has announced Stanford plans to require all undergraduate, graduate, and professional students coming to campus this fall to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19. I think it's a good idea and it's a win-win for everybody. UC Berkeley infectious disease specialist Dr. John Schwartzberg says mandatory vaccinations will benefit those on campus as well as those that live in the surrounding communities because students are a major reservoir for COVID-19. They're also a reservoir for being a viral factory and that is they'll produce a lot more viral particles and some of those viral particles are going to be variants. So if we can control the number of people producing the viral particles, that is vaccinating them, and students are amongst the biggest group, we're gonna be able to control much better, not only the pandemic, but control the variants that this virus produces. While Stanford hasn't determined whether faculty and staff will also be required to be vaccinated, the Cal State system says it intends to require vaccinations for faculty, staff, and students, as does the University of California, though both state university systems are still in the process of finalizing their plans. What is clear, though, is that at both the Cal State University System and the University of California, the requirement would go into effect once a vaccine has full approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Right now, the vaccines are approved for emergency use. So this is a big step and it does lay out the groundwork for what parents and students will be expected or what will be expected of them, I should say, come the fall, depending on where they're going for higher education. Live at San Francisco State, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.